Hey smokers, Raga one here. Um, today we're going to see if we can install uh, Mac OS X Sierra, um, or Mac OS Sierra, yeah, the new name for it, um, into a virtual machine. I tried to do this a long time ago, and I did make a video about it uh, before. It was Leopard, very old version of Mac OS, and, well, in that time it was actually Mac OS X, but um, I didn't actually make it myself. I didn't make the virtual machine myself. It was uh, pre-made. I acquired it. Um, so yeah, uh, that's how that got made. I, I just downloaded it as a whole package. I didn't do any of the work. So this right here is, uh, uh, this actually the GitHub page for this is in the description. Um, Mac OS Unlocker for VMware. And this is for VMware, can be done on VMware Player 7. And as you can see, I have VMware Player 7 right here, and I'm all good. So this piece of software has to be installed. This is the zip file for it right here. This is our 10.12.4 that we're going to use. And um, there's a, a plain text line here that will uh, let us fix our VMware player virtual machine file if it doesn't work which is very likely in the unlocker master folder we have uh, the stuff that will patch our vmware player so that we can make um, mac os 10 virtual machines that actually work but again this is only part one it might still not work and we need to add a plain text line to the virtual machine file but let's see if we can do this first now, the likelihood of me screwing this up is very high, so let's just get started as fast as possible. Okay, so these are all our files. Uh, there's unlocker, get tools, uh, what is all this? Let's just click this and see what happens. Uh, well, wait, maybe we should just read the instructions first. Um, patch code carries out the following modifications depending on the product being patched. Um, VMware-VMX and derivatives allow Mac OS X to boot. VMware base um, also allow Apple to be selected during VM creation. Um, uh, download copy latest VMware tools for OS X. So that's the guest tool. Note that not all products recognize the Darwin ISO via tools menu item. You'll have to manually mount the Darwin ISO. Okay. Wait, I need Python. Okay, Windows. You'll need to either run command or ad as administrator using explore, right click, and run it as, as administrator. Um, win install patches VMware. Uninstall restores VMware. Win update tools. Okay. Oh. <laughs> run as administrator. Okay. Win update tools. Okay, cool. So that might be all we need to do. Now that it's installed. So now we have to make the virtual machine, I I guess. Um but once we create the virtual machine file, we will have to modify it if it doesn't work. So install our disk is not a disk, it's a ISO. Browse. Have the 10.4 there. Sorry, 10, 12.4. Jesus. Apple Mac OS 10. 10.10. Wait, what? Only 10.10? But I have 10.12. Well, I guess it should still work, but. Uh, fuck it. Just fuck it. Uh, 10.12.4. I'm going to put this somewhere else. We're going to make this 100. Customize hardware. Memory, we definitely need four. Processors. Yeah, fuck. This is going to get complicated really fast. Okay. Oh, shit. That's right. I need to restart my computer. So here's what happened. I accidentally overclocked my computer, and then I had to re reset my BIOS, or I guess EFI BIOS, 
and it turned off virtualization. So this sort of interrupts what we were trying to do. So um, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. That was an example of flow buzzkill. Let's try this again. Okay, so this is what I think I need to do. Okay, so this is the virtual machine folder. Um, I need to modify this file with a single plain text line. Let's see what happens here. At least I think that is. So these are the hard disk images. This is the one I need to modify, I think. No, 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 no. It's a virtual disk file. So wait, is it this one? Oh, fuck, I don't remember. Virtual machine configuration. Here we go. That's the one I need to modify. So let's uh, open that with uh, my ass. Okay, so this is what the inside of that file looks like. There's not a whole lot to it. It's just a bunch of values and stuff. So at the very bottom, we have some stuff here. And I'm going to go right here. There we go. So now, that will make it work, I guess. I don't fucking know. Maybe, probably won't, considering my channel does nothing right the first time. Well, fuck me. Okay, so something interesting I noticed. When I try to launch, and this is all our stuff in the thingy here. When I try to launch this, right at the beginning, you see something right here. It says that, I'll probably blow it up on the screen so you can see it because it goes away so fast. But it basically says that this line I added doesn't work, even though that is the solution to this error. So, um, what do I do? It just doesn't recognize it. Uh, oh, look, it changed. Uh, reload. Okay. So I guess I can get rid of the quotes, although that doesn't really, probably not going to bode well with how this works at all. Um, since I don't know what the hell I'm doing most of the time, but I'm really just guessing, and it doesn't help anything. And lo and behold, that fucking worked. Are you serious? Jesus Christ! <laughs> wow come on dog everything said keep the quotes i got rid of the quotes and it worked are you serious finally something works god damn it fuck Now this is probably an image of the recovery partition, which always takes a long time to start up. And what do you know, it is... So, nope. Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, never mind. It's, um... Already installing. The fuck? Well, I'm glad I had my whole virtual machine set up, because it's already started. What the fuck is wrong with this image? Alright, well, I guess if it installs, I don't have a problem with it, but, uh... Okay. Well, I mean, this is more progress than I thought I was going to get today. <laughs> I mean, it's working, right? It's working. Uh, doing a lot of waiting, not a lot of interesting stuff happening yet. So, but before we move forward... Um, what's so important about having Mac OS X running in a virtual machine on your PC? Basically means I don't have to have a Mac separate machine. If this works with good enough performance, um, I can install uh, my uh, digital audio workstation software here. And, you know, I'm one of those people who uh, is kind of stuck in the past, who just keeps using old software or what they're familiar with and um, doesn't want to change so much and just wants to keep using the old crap they know what to do. Because if you go to learn a whole new software, 
um, it's just a barrier to actually the creation. And since I already have my workflow and everything, um, it's it's it would it would be a large barrier to creation. And my excuse for creating stuff musically um, has been, oh, it's on another computer, and I'm doing things on this computer already, and I want to be able to multitask. And now I don't want to start using a different piece of software that runs on Windows because i got to relearn it. And so pretty much a lot of excuses. And I think even if I have this installed and it works 100% perfectly to run Logic Express 9, I'm still not going to use it. And I'm still going to be like, oh, well, maybe I'll just play some devil daggers or something. <laughs> oh my god, my brain is soup. Nine minutes? Oh man, this game looks so good. Ha! <laughs> he fucked up. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Eight minutes. Up oh, seven minutes. So I was a little bit concerned um, that it wasn't doing anything. But as you can see down here, 10, uh, 1012 ISO is getting a lot of read, and my virtual machine disks are getting a lot of write. So it's taking stuff out of the disk image and putting it into the, um, well, another disk image, but in the right order with this. So yeah, it doesn't ask you if you want to format it, it just fucking writes, starts writing like fucking crazy. And it takes a fucking long time, and I don't care, I just, it just works, so... Um, that's, that's fine. So, we'll, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna keep playing games, I guess. I gotta rush them before the install's completed. Oh my god, they're not following orders! No! <laughs> Problem, I'll just make some more units. No, oh, we're done, holy shit. Okay. So I'm not gonna do this in French. Contains a built-in screen reader called voiceover. Thanks, Siri. Okay, okay. Okay. As you can see my mouse cursor is lagging. Skip that shit. Agree to that shit. Read that shit. Um, ooh, penguin. It's a sign I should switch to Linux instead. Uh, this is pretty cool. But I'll still put myself in. France, I guess. The hell is it? Uh, I'll work for now. I've now made some French people happy with me and some French people angry with me. Desolate. Um, probably don't want them knowing I'm installing this where it's not supposed to go. <laughs> Holy shit. Here we are. Latest fucking OS. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, we did it. I guess. Now, as you can see, most of it doesn't fit on here because this is 1024 by 768 and this is 720p video. So we're going to have that as an issue, or I could just resize this. Oh yeah, that works. Holy shit, I did it. We're done. That's it. Ow. Ow. Well, should I install? Oh, God. Well, first, first, we need to install our virtual machine additions, which is very important. Um, the fuck is it? Install VMware tools. Fuck, I don't know where it is. 
So there's a Darwin.iso in the install directory of uh, VMware. So let's just find it, I guess. Darwin.iso. It's only 3 megs. Yeah, that's why it downloaded so fast. Maybe that's just too fast for it. Uh, VMware tool. Holy shit! That was too easy. And this is going to cause it to kernel panic and not work. Just fucking watch. At least it works this far. Oh my god. I've never restarted this yet. I have not restarted this yet. I don't even know if it can do it successfully. That's supposedly representing the Apple logo. No, it's not. That is. Okay. That was, that was just the gray uh, EFI screen. Okay. I'm fucking stupid. But I don't care, because look at this. It's like the easiest video I've ever made. It's the video that has been the easiest to make, and it's got the most shit done at the same time. It's just like, oh, it was really easy to install Mac OS 8, but is that really getting something done that's pragmatically useful? That's questionable. Okay. Oh, it didn't crash. That's good. Do I have more resolutions now? Fuck. Well, who cares? At least I installed the tools, whatever that means. So now, can we go on the internet? Hello everyone, Jiraga One here, and today. Wait, 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 hello everyone? Oh shit. Hey look, it's another video where I'm installing Mac OS X. Weird. You say that a lot. Full screen? I know, man. It works. It's awesome. I'm a little bit ahead of that. Uh, oh, yeah. I forgot. The boot-up timer. That's something I need to do on screen. I forgot to do that. Thanks, buddy. So it looks like we can browse the web not too shabby. Um, I think this would work even better if it was an earlier version of Mac OS X, but whatever. Um, hmm. Okay. Rocking the, the dual core. Wait a minute. No, that's not dual core. That's two processors. Oh, God. Display 128 megabytes. The fuck? VM F. FTN swag H. I don't know if that's. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is funny. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> One memory slot and use 63 available. <laughs> Your Mac contains 64 memory slots, each of which accepts 0 megahertz DRAM memory module. <laughs> oh, let's manage our storage space. Oh, this is when Sierra became Mac Keeper. Uh... Yeah, there's just the operating system on there. It's not going to find shit. So apparently if I give it more video memory, I could do more shit, maybe. Or that'll just make a crash if I change anything. And I really don't want that to happen at all. Um, now, can I... Now, look at this. See this? Moving in and out of the virtual machine. Maybe that's what the VM tools are really doing. Now, let's try and transfer a file. Holy shit, that's awesome! Oh yeah! Yes, I can drag and drop in a Mac OS X! Oh, now shit's gonna get real. Well, if that works, then I'll get my disk images for logic and see if it works, I guess. We already have audio working. This is like 20 times better than Pair PC. Remember Pair PC? Oh my god, that was gross. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, sound. Mm. 
It's beautiful. Got no mic in, who cares? Oh, I probably would. Wait a minute, how am I going to get like a USB keyboard to work with it? A USB like MIDI keyboard to work with this? I don't know, that's not the most important part, but it's probably the only thing I'm going to use it for. Uh, the mouse, actually, as you can see, is whoa, 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 is actually uh, moving pretty smoothly. Yeah, this is a 60 FPS video, so you can probably see how smooth that is. It's not the smoothest, it's not as smooth as over here, but it's it's not bad. Uh, well, let, let me see if I can find the disk images. I think they're just on the Mac Pro. And I might actually be able to find the files, go Mac to Mac, actually. So. Okay, so it's on. And here it is. Mac Pro. Alright, and there we are. It totally didn't even require a password, which is kind of scary. Uh... Ew. I didn't need a pass. Oh, maybe it's only letting me. Okay, let me connect as myself. Is that my name on that computer? I can't remember. Aha! Now I can see everything. Okay, so it looks like my the only place my logic files are on are on a FireWire 400 hard disk, which is faster than installing uh, via CD, but it's still not going to be as fast as off of an SSD over Ethernet. So I'm a little bit disappointed about that. But compared to the amount of time I spent waiting for this shit all the time. Oh my god. Alright, so I plugged it in. It's probably mounted. I don't need. It, this is a totally headless thing, by the way. Um, here we go. Okay, so we got Logic Express content, Logic Express install, update, Logic Express upgrade, um, and the product keys. And this all together is 16 gigs, uh, upgrade, content, install, update, upgrade, update, upgrade. Oh yeah, nine, <laughs> first I have to start with 7.2, um, install and content, then nine, upgrade it to nine, and then update nine. And this is old as shit software, and I hope to God it still works on Sierra. That's the one reason I didn't really want to do it from Sierra, was because of that. Also, I hope this hard drive doesn't fail. It's older than balls. Oh, only eight minutes? Really? That gives me enough time to play another game. Oh, look, it's Majesty, my heart-to-heart -heart game that I use when I'm talking to people about things. And I'm going to... I have this little bandwidth graph up here so we can see when the transfers get done. Um, so I just want to say sorry to everybody that I didn't, I haven't made a video for a couple of weeks. Um, just got some uh, different stuff going on and uh, it uh, just don't have the time I used to. I made a tweet about that as well as I also made a tweet about net neutrality and I wanted to make a video about that but I just didn't have enough time. Um, but I would encourage everybody to support net neutrality, contact your um, senators or whoever, or however you want to uh, spread the word about net neutrality because it is very important um, to make sure that the internet is a free and open place. Um, and that uh, I, I think that the best um, description I heard to describe net neutrality is without net neutrality, it's sort of like, it's sort of like um, having uh, your water company. Um, oh, this fuck! Jesus Christ, she's back! I swear to God, I tried to record this like twice already. Oh, it's done. It's done. Okay. All right. Whatever. Fuck this. But it's basically like telling your uh, your water company saying that oh, depending on how you use your water, is you'll pay differently. So basically, like, if, if your water company says you, could, you pay this amount if you're just watering a plant, but you have to pay this other amount if you're just drinking the water or if you're watering a different type of plant, um, basically it means that net neutrality means that it doesn't matter what you're going to use um, the internet for. It's just you pay for your speed and that's it and that's all it should be. Same thing goes for electricity. 
if you're powering like a hair dryer or something, you pay like the regular speed lane. If you're if you have a TV set, that's the TV lane. And if you're powering like heavier equipment, and that's in the heavy equipment lane, it's like what the fuck? That's literally what without net neutrality, that's what we would have with um with the internet with, with the internet is like you can get these sites uh low speed um these sites high speed and there would be different payment packages for that if we keep it if we keep it common carrier title two um just whatever you want to do with the internet it just here's your speed whatever you want to do with your water here's your pressure whatever you want to do with your electricity this is how much we're going to bill you per kilowatt hour doesn't matter what you're going to use it for. This is the billing system, not what you're using it for. It's bullshit, and it only helps line the pockets of corporate executives at Verizon, Comcast, you name it. Um, so uh, it's it once. And the other thing is that's really funny. The second anybody learns about it, they're like, "This bullshit." It doesn't matter who it is. You learn about it. It's bullshit. And so um, the the only reason anybody ever supports it is because they don't even know what it is. So. Uh, I mean, or or you're a cable executive, so um, that's probably the most political you will ever hear me. Um, but you know, it's something that I think everybody can agree on. Uh, unless you're a corporate executive, then if you are a corporate executive for one of those companies, please unsubscribe immediately from this channel because I don't want your views at all. Because unless you're willing to support net neutrality, in which case, welcome. Uh, thank you. I, I believe there actually are a couple ISPs out there that do support net neutrality. It is very nice. Um, so uh, now we're we're done with that, and we're gonna see if this will work. Uh, and just open this, mount this on the desktop. I have no idea if this is gonna work. Oh my god! This should be pretty quick. Okay, now I need to put the content CD in. Actually, I've never tried this with um, just disk images. Oh, and it detects it, and it just goes. Fucking amazing. Alright, yeah, something else to wait for. Let's play another game. Sure says bogus detour in French. So I, I was actually playing this game with Akibaguku, and it's really good. Um, I, 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 I thought about maybe like streaming it with him or something. Would you guys want to see that? I mean, I've played games with him before, and I know games on this channel are not that you guys don't care about the games as much on this channel, but um, it is he fucking hella fun when I make gaming videos. Um, so I might just... We might just start streaming again. I don't know. And maybe not dying as much. Right, well, we're almost done. Oh, that's done. Okay, we gotta launch. Logic Express. Oh, fuck. And we have to enter our license information. So this is where I will cut. I think the product key entry word. <laughs> Wants to access my contacts? What the fuck? <laughs> Why does Logic Express want my contacts? <laughs> Come on, dude. Register later, dude. <laughs> I really didn't want to do this. Figure them later. <laughs> Logic version 7 for PowerBook. Why is it all PowerBook? Whatever. <laughs> Actually, I don't think there's going to be enough room to use this software <laughs> on this screen real estate. So, Logic Express 7 is old as poop. This moon music is awesome. I hope I don't get like content I did. I shouldn't. Devolver's pretty chill. Uh, forgot to use this shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Shit. There is a lot of latency. This is pretty much not usable. And we're not even on nine yet. But it's it sort of works. I sort of want to know what would happen if I imported one of my projects into this. Okay, fine. Now let's upgrade it to nine. So I had a absolute crisis. I have never told the story on the channel before, but I had an absolute crisis. Um, and I was actually worried my mom was going to do this. It was Christmas, and uh, I wanted the upgrade package to Logic Express 9. Or did I? Was that what it was? I think I already had Logic Express 7, and I wanted, um, I wanted upgrade 9. Come Christmas morning or my birthday or something. Open a package that says Logic Pro. I'm like, hmm. Logic Pro is $1,000. How did my mom just buy this? Well, it turns out it was the Logic Pro upgrade. <laughs> $130, something like that? I have no idea. Upgrade to, like, Logic Pro 7 or something? I have no idea. I can't remember. Logic Pro 9? I, I don't remember, but it was the Logic Pro. We opened the package. I don't know why. I only had very basic knowledge about this at the time. It was many years ago back when this was new, and I opened it, and I was like, shit, why do I need a USB dongle to install this? And then I realized it was upgraded for Logic Pro, not Express. And I was like, mom, you had one job. <laughs> Buy the right thing, and, but I had one job. No, what the fuck, I'm opening. So we go back to the Apple store, and through some miracle, the guy there is like, in spirit of the Christmas season, we will let you return this opened software. Holy shit. We would have been out like $130, $200 had he not done that. So props to random guy at the Apple store for returning Logic Pro so we could then buy Logic Express. Fuck. And so here we are. Maybe that's why I'm kind of attached to this wanting to use Logic Express, the old version of Logic Express, because it's like, <laughs> I have a story behind it and everything. Chargeur Presque Vide. Tell me if I pronounce that right. Ah, I suck at this. Actually, I don't have any of the upgrades that I had before, so... I'm Yeah, fuck up. Actually, how low a resolution can this go? Oh no! I've permanently shrunk the window. <laughs> fuck! It won't go down. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. All these things are kind of bigger, so you can see them. Oh shit! I think I'm probably going to have to get the soundtrack. It's actually available on iTunes. Speaking of iTunes, I could probably launch that. All this is modern software, so... I'm not using old shit anymore. So right now I'm loading one of the demo songs. So this is a tutorial song, so I don't think there's anything copyrightable in here. Um, there's a lot of tracks with a lot of different effects, so let's see if it can uh, play this back in real time. That's going to be the key to whether this is going to be useful. It's also pretty unusual to use a digital audio workstation in 1024 by 768 so let me just do this. Hell, I think I may even hide the top bar as well.
Whoa! Is it doing that? Is it switching window sets automatically? There's no way I could have done that by mistake. I mean, it sounds cool. So some of the stuff is going off of the screen like this because this is designed for a 22 inch display and there's probably some stuff over here. Oh, it's going through different screen sets, I see. System performance is holding pretty steady. So, screen set six now. It's demonstrating its ability to do um, automation curves. A little bit of audio lag there. A little bit of, I want to say clipping, sort of popping. I hope this isn't copyrighted. Ooh. I need to turn down the master volume. There, I can now talk and be heard. I think this might actually work a lot better if I was using not Yosemite. Yosemite. Sierra! Fuck. Well, look at all this shit. This is like the best thing I probably could have showed you guys, because there's like all kinds of weird shit going on. Like, look at all this crap you can do with Logic. Now, the thing is, is that this project was made with Logic Express 7, and it's being played back in Logic Express 9, so it's not going to look right either way. But yeah, I, I think this is... This is much too slow uh, performance to uh, actually do anything. This is uh, this is way too laggy. But again, this project is huge. Um, there's so much shit in it. Like, I, mean, I can't even see everything because oh, there's too many shit on this. Fuck. Back to screen set one. There's a whole lot of tracks. There's a whole lot of effects. I'm gonna pause that. Since, since I'm still connected to the Mac Pro, I can access my old files. Okay, so here's something I probably don't have all the proper files for. Uh, this is one of my projects from my Island 2.0 album. I wanna see if it's actually openable. Yeah, I need contact five. Um, so this is what a, my project looks like here. So can my own song be played back? Well, it's, it's a little broken considering contact five doesn't exist. 
So I have to put something else in its place. Okay, so I picked out a better bass instrument because Contact 5 doesn't work. And again, this is the early version of this song, so um, I'm just going to play through a part of it to see how viable this is at actually playing back one of my actual songs. Um, so let's see what happens. And for some reason we're locked on that last part. <laughs> Wait, no, I don't want to record! Fuck. Alright, so, as you can see, um, it doesn't work perfectly. I don't know how to get the resolution any higher than this is. I'm sure there's a way to do it. Um, not really that big of a deal. Um, let's see here if I can change anything now. Yeah, well. Give me more display. I, there's probably some way to do it. I don't know how to do it right off the bat. But as you can see, it works well enough to play back uh, a project in real time. Um, and, uh, you know, that works. Uh, again, this is an old version of the song. Um, if you want to check out my music, it is down in the description. Um, and let me quit this out. And don't save, please, because we're accessing that over the network. That's the other thing. We were playing that, we were playing that file over the network. We loaded that in over the network. Um, so yeah, um, it does work if, if you want to do simple things, even if you want to do a little bit more hefty things, like um, uh, actual music stuff, um, but, you know, considering I was hearing some little popping, audio popping, clipping, um, what is it, buffer running out or buffer problems that I would probably have to tweak to make it work but the frame rate when using that is a little bit agonizing I might try this again with like Mavericks maybe even Snow Leopard I think I could make uh, a Snow Leopard one I don't know uh, if I want to do Snow Leopard it has to be Mac OS X server um, that's sort of it's more happy environment is Snow Leopard so um, Leopard may even actually be able to do it because it is universal binary but then i'd probably only be able to use logic express 7. so there are some options here as you can see and it, we're running 10 12 even though it's supposed to be 10 10 only so pretty good stuff so it works surprisingly well um and if i were to tweak it some more add some more ram figure out what's going on with the processor here i could make it probably perform even better um, but this is just sort of a proof of concept to see that it works, and uh, looks like we succeeded. So thanks everybody for watching. It's been uh, pretty fun coming back to this again. I, again, I'm sorry for 
being behind on videos, but uh, I actually managed to make one that works okay. I'll see you guys next time.